You really think it's all new. You really think about it too. The old man scoffed as he spoke to me. I'll tell you a thing or two. Well, I miss the 1418 war, but not the sorrow afterwards. With my father dead and my mother ran off, my brothers took the pay of hoods. The twenties turned, the north was dead. The hunger strike came marching south. At the garden party, not a word was said. The ladies lifted cake to their mouths. The next war began and my ship sailed with battle orders writ in bed. In five long years of bullets and shells, we left ten million dead. The few returned to old Piccadilly. We limped around Leicester Square. Wait, which way? Aha! The world was busy rebuilding itself. The architects could not care. But how could we know when I was young All the changes that were to come All the photos in the wallets on the battlefield And now the terror of the scientific sun There was masters and servants and servants and dogs They taught you how to touch your cat But through the strikes and famine and war England never closed that gap So leave me now, the moon is up but remember all the tales I tell The memories that you have dredged up Are letters forwarded from hell Sorry about that, guys. By the way, welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus with Mio Xfu. And don't pay, any, pay any, don't pay any heat to it if you don't want to. I mean, I've just been watching... Uh, I've just been listening to uh, a lot of old punk and ska, you know, just a lot of old British stuff besides the classic rock. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm a huge Led Zeppelin fan, huge Who fan, huge Judas Priest fan, even though they're not that, even though they're not like 70s and 60s and whatnot. Um, it's just I've been, I've, been, I've been having punk and ska in the mind. I've been listening to, um, well, started with reggae, and of course that, that turned into two-tone ska, which turned into punk. Or maybe it was the other way around. Doesn't matter. Well, two-tone two, two -tone ska, two -tone ska took on from punk and reggae, so... And regular ska, of course. But, <laughs> listen to me ranting. Alright, so, next Colossus, by the way. Um, this guy, as you can see, is a giant arachnid turtle thing. And he will shoot these light beams at us, which will take away about a quarter of our health if we, if we get hit. Um, but fortunately, they're not like the last guy's things, which linger and pretty much take away your health if you if you come even close to where they were. But these will knock down um, aggro, and basically what you've got to do is lure him over to these geysers, and just keep him above them for a while um, until they'll blow up blow and you'll see him go flying over. I'll show you actually kind of what that looks like right now. Because you can run into the geysers too, and it's pretty comical. Because that'll happen. It doesn't take away any health, it's not it's not useful for anything, it's just it's just funny. Um But no, it started because I started listening to some old reggae again, and of course that led to um Well of course that led to Bob Marley, but I mean um that led to bands like Madness, which, I mean, I didn't even know that they were the, the band that did Our House, you know, like, Our House, I don't know the rest of the words, Our House, but, um, yeah, I didn't even know that was them, uh, but I've been listening to a lot of their other stuff, and it's just ridiculous, like, one of their songs, um, One Step Beyond, just starts off like, hey, you, it starts off with this, like, this chubby kid in bed and the lead singer of Madness come oh god we don't want to die not right now <sighs> but anyway the lead singer just like comes up and he's like hey you don't watch that watch this this is the heavy heavy monster sound the nuttiest sound around so if you coming off the street 
and you're beginning to feel the heat. Well, listen, ooh. Well, listen, Buster. You better start to move your feet to the rockinest, rock steady beat of madness. And it's just ridiculous the way he goes about it. And then you see just like this Scott man on a little stage, just playing a, 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 a solid ska beat and just messing around pretty much. It's just hilarious. All right, so this is what happens when he goes over the geyser. He'll stumble like that, although we were not close enough, I suppose, that I guess if we're not close enough, he'll just set back down again. I don't know. This guy is one of the most annoying guys for me. Just Well, besides the fact that he does a hell of a lot of damage, then you have the problem that you have to be right in front of these, full power, in order to hit them. And the first time you have to hit both of them, which isn't that big of a deal. And he'll go tumbling. And now we're going to have to run around to the other side of him and grab on. This is where he gets annoying, because I've actually had to record this guy like two separate times. It took me like half an hour to actually get onto his back the first time I tried this guy. Just because... I don't know why, actually. Um, I was I just was slipping off when I got up to the top of him. Let's make sure that I'm not losing any frames or anything. I'm recording, right? <laughs> No, because you're going to want to climb up them. And then you're going to want to go up here. Which... Alright. See, this is what I end up doing, because otherwise I'm just going to fall off when he goes up, because he'll go flying that way. But if I don't grab on here, I'm just not going to be able to get up on him. So actually, this guy's going pretty fast now. <laughs> I don't think I'll have much more to talk about. Because this guy's pretty straightforward once you get up onto his back. Just when he starts going, just crouch down and you'll pretty much stay where you are. Just wait until he stops shaking. And just run, make a run for it. And once you get up to his head, he's pretty much. Once you can get to his head, this guy's as easy as the first boss because he only has one weak point. Oh, oh, oh. Well, there we go. Breaking physics. <laughs> I have no problem with that. That makes this guy easier. And there you go. And he'll just take a few stabs. I mean, now that we're actually up here, this guy's not hard at all. Again, it's ridiculous the amount of the amount of time that I'd spent just trying to get this guy when I first did him. I probably spent 45 minutes just on this guy alone. Well, that means that I can at least do more than one recording, because I just got fed up with him and just stopped recording. I think it started from dropping frames too, because once I go over an hour recording and I recorded two bosses before that, uh, my 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 dazzle capture card starts to drop frames like like a, like a bastard, and I just want, I just can't record for a, a little while. That's all. Oh, I shouldn't even be recording right now. I should be reading some of Joyce's Dubliners for my exam tomorrow, but. It's Irish literature. I've got it. I've got the thing down. I mean, we only have to do three exams, and I could do those things in my sleep. Right. A wonderful commentary. I'm not even talking about the boss anymore because I mean, this, like I said, once we get up to this guy's head, he's pretty much straightforward. And that's it. That guy's over. That's that's it. He's done. <laughs> I can't remember if there's actually anything in the cave. I can't remember if I, someone's told me there is. I mean, there's probably nothing important in the cave. Maybe, like, a white lizard give us some grip. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, when you defeat a colossus, they will fossilize, and you can go back up to them and press circle to pray, and you can fight them again. I don't know. It's just really cool, I think, that they actually fossilize like that. Well, that's it for this guy, guys. Um, I will see you next time on Let's Play Beyond... Well, let's play Shadow of the Colossus. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. What do I mean, have a nice day? Take it easy.